Hi, I'm Brett, and this is my channel, A Kick in the Grass, A Football Manager Story. In this series, which we're going to call Bottom Dwellers, what I'm going to do is head to one of the top five European leagues, I'm going to check out the media prediction, and take control of the team to finish dead last. The first league we're going to head to is the La Liga, and the team we're going to take control of is Rio Wayacano. All right. I'll see you in a moment and introduce the team. All right, here we are. We have taken control of Rio Waikano. Um, we're just on the league history graph, as you can see. And as you can tell by the honors trophy cabinet here, it is bare. We have nothing of note. Um, Rio is a struggling team. It's, that's being nice. Um, they've won the second division once. All right, now if we look at this graph here, you can see they spent a fair bit of time in, 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 a, in, in a horrible place in the 2000s. They got relegated from the second tier, stayed in the third tier for a number of years, but they've kind of made their way back up in the mid uh, 2010s. They, you call it established five, Five or so years in the first division, not sure. Um, and since then, though, it's been up and down, up and down, um, unfortunately. Um, while we're here, let's uh, have a look at the competitions, uh, domestic leagues. Once again, you can see first division, second division, first division, second division, B1, up and down and up and down, third division back in the 90s. Um, and as you can see, Starting in 1956, well, that's the recorded uh, seasons on FM anyway. Um, they've never really been in the first division. Um, what is it? Yeah, in that 2010s, five years. That's the longest they've spent. So we've got a job on our hands uh, to keep them up longer than that for sure and become well established. Now, if we check out the first division, because that's what we care about. That's the uh, main prize if you want. Um, you can see not many years since the 50s have they been in the first division. Uh, and if we have a quick look at their positions, um, the highest they've ever finished in, back in 2012-13 is eight. So, and, and as you can see, what, two times technically a top half team? Um, and that's no good. And both of those seasons, we've had a minus goal difference. Actually, wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you can look down this list. They have never had a positive goal difference in the first division. <laughs> ah, and the maximum points, let's have a look, they've ever got is 53. That season they finished eight. Um, let's check it the other way. We had, in 1990, they finished on 19 points. Okay. All right, this is going to be tricky, I think. A team that's never really been... This is not a rebuild because the team's never been good. Um, and I'm not being mean, that's just the truth. They're making up the numbers in the leagues. Um, but we're gonna change that. We are gonna change that. All right, um, let's check out the club vision. Uh, so it's same as every other save, work within the budget. Most things have give minimum contracts to first team players. Um, our aim for this season though, First division, avoid relegation and reach the Spanish Cup third round. Don't care about that, to be honest. I think if we avoid relegation, the board's going to be pretty happy. Um, and the club culture is sign young players, pretty much. Um, Got to be honest, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, we're trying to survive. So if I can sign anyone, it's probably going to be old free transfers that can last for a year or two. Um but hopefully we'll get to that club culture in a few years and start signing some new gens, things like that. Um, if we head along to the club info screen again and we check out our facilities, um, always something. We've got a pretty small capacity stadium. We'll have to check, but I've got a feeling you need 15,000 in the first division, so I'm sure there's some leniency on that, but we can probably... Well, I don't know what's going to happen there. We have no money, probably. Let's check that out. We have good training facilities, good youth facilities, uh, good academy coaching and average youth recruitment. So that's, that's somewhere to start. It's not too bad. 
Um, now, if we check out the finances, let's see what we've got. Oh. Right. Um, sorry about the pause. That's not a glitch in the video. That's me seeing the transfer budget is zero. And it gets worse. If we sell any players, we only get 55% of that to spend again. And it gets even worse. Uh, the wage budget has nothing in it. We have committed spending that's over our wage budget. And one of the things is to stay in the wage budget. Oh, the <laughs> well, this is what I asked for. Take the bottom team and you get hard conditions. Um, and it's going to be a cool challenge. It is. Um, we've got some money in the bank, so that's that's good. Um, if we check the debt, uh, it's at $2 million. Uh, That just offsets the money in the bank, though. So we've got $3.8 million uh, in debt. That's not too bad, really. Um, all right. So if we have a quick look at the squad... Um, I haven't made a tactic yet. We'll come back at the start of the season. We'll show you the tactic. Um, and I don't know if we've managed to find a player. I, I don't even know how that's going to happen, but we'll we'll do some tinkering. Um, so as far as our best player in the first team, um, sorry, it looks like Oscar Trejo is our best player. Uh, so he's an attacking midfielder. Um, and he's, he actually looks pretty good, to be honest. If I'm taken on the bottom side, that's you can work with this guy. He's just old. Um, so his physicals will start to go pretty quick. But, yeah, that's that's pretty good. If we look down the list, um, we've got... I know the star ratings don't really work. They only compare your own team. Um, but usually, if you've got a whole bunch of people in three and a half stars, uh, Coutinho, Garcia... Um, Dmitrievsky. Oh, we got Radamel Falcao. Okay, I didn't know that. All right, I love this guy. I remember trying to sign him all the time when he was at Porto. Um, that would have been, yeah, back here in FM 2010, probably, or 2011. Trying to sign him all the time. He was a, He's a beast. Well, as you can see, look at his stuff. Like, he looked like that then, but he had slightly better physicals. He's 35. That's why he's at Rio. Um, okay, that's going to be cool. Okay, he's actually a really good player. 98 caps. Um, very cool. Um, all right, let's check out our players with potential. Actually, to be honest, we have a lot of people out for loan and a lot of people in for loan. And is this... Okay, so we've got a guy on loan, Una Lopez, who's going to be a permanent person here. Oh, no. Does that mean we're committed to a transfer? What is that? What What is this? I can't even see it. Oh, no. Okay, so... <laughs> we have no money. Um, we have no wage budget, but we are somehow going to pull $4.7 million um, out of somewhere at the end of this season and pay for Uno Lopez. So there we go. There's a new debt that I don't have any choice over. That is happening. That is happening. Great. And he looks okay. But he's 25. Like, he's well-rounded? Uh, yeah, hopefully he can do a job for us. <laughs> All right. Uh, so potential-wise, if we have a look up here, we have... Okay, Martin Pasqual, he's, yep, he's already 21, so that's not going to work. Okay, this guy looks promising, Fran Garcia. I can't say if I've assigned him in another save or anything like that, but to be, you know what? Well, this is pretty good. Left backs are really hard to get in football manager. Uh, so this guy, he's got some pace about him, some physicals, his mentals are okay but they're all okay um and his technicals are in the right spots so if we were going to have a wing back or a full back yeah he's got everything he needs so all right that's cool we'll try and keep frank garcia for the most part 
All right, there's no other names jumping out. Oh, well, hold on. Look, is it done? Or is it done? Depending on how you want to go about it. You put up my Aussie accent a bit, I suppose. Um, a goalkeeper. You should, I, I've got a feeling this guy is, is, is his son. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Zinedine Zidane's son. Um, and then we got two brothers playing all over the place. Must mean he was at Real Madrid. I think he had everyone at Real Madrid. Yeah, nice. So we've somehow picked him up. Um, he looks okay, but oh, he, he's way too short to be a quality goalkeeper. Sorry, Luca. Um, you'll be back up, maybe. We'll see. Um, so that's the team. All right. Um, I'll see you in a moment. Um, we'll come back at the start of the season, um, just before the first game. We'll see if there's any transfers. <laughs> Um, that I've magically managed to make. Uh, and we'll check out the tactic we're going to use for the season. All right, see you then. Okay, so here we are. We are just before the start of the first season with Raya Waikano. Um, so we'll have a look at the tactic, as I said before. So I have um, been fiddling around with the tactic. We are, as you can see up here, I've called it the Horseball 4231. Um, we're at version three. Um, now, I had a look at the squad, and we had players that could play in all sorts of spots, which was good. Um, so, I'm going to go with this uh, 4231. Uh, it has a pretty positive mentality. It's a custom uh, Gagan Press um, that I've come up with. Um, it has some of the things that is required in Football Manager. Um, for those that are interested, you can see um, we're trying to be pretty positive here and score goals. We need to score some goals. Um, I think we're going to take a few hits. Um, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five people on attack. Three on defense. Actually, sorry, let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six of <laughs> six of our team on attack mentality. Um, with one support and the other three on defense, playing with a ball winning midfielder here. Um I don't know. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh I feel like I've kind of invented a tactic that would work well with good teams, but every tactic works good with good teams. Um We'll see how we go. All right, so if we select um, the best 11, you'll soon see. All right, so it does have Falcao up in the uh, advanced forward position. Uh, Merkulans in uh, our inverted wingers. We have two of those. Uh, Vara Garcia is the other one. Uh, Oscar Trejo is our advanced playmaker. Uh, in central midfield, you know, Lopez. Uh, Komasana in our ball winning midfield spot. Um, on our wing back spots, we've got on the left Frank Garcia and Balu on the right. Uh, Savelcic in the center of defense with Katinya and Dmitrievsky as our sweeper keeper. Um, yep, so if we head over to our transfers now, you'll be able to see. Um, we have made some staff transfers. So I have obviously been uh, given the manager job here on the 12th, um, and I have gone ahead and filled out all of the coaching positions. What I couldn't do was um, sack anyone because that would have cost us money. And as you saw uh, previously, we don't have any money. Um, they let me employ some people. You can see there was no one brought from another club. Um, and that's how it works. If we go to all transfers, you can see, um, none of this was done by me. These are the players we already have. Uh, these are all the players we already have. Oh, maybe, a, um, we got 14k for a loan out. Um, you can't see that probably. There it is, Manu Navara. We loaned him out. That is the only business I could do. Um, as I said, our finances, oh, we got $700, sorry, pounds. Um, Australian stuff, right? Um, yeah, with no wage budget, which I think has gone up because of the uh, staff wages we've spent. Um, so, yeah, not much to do. So, really, we're relying on my tactic to try and um, keep us in the first division, really. Um, 
So if we have a look at our schedule, um, you can see in preseason here, uh, it's been pretty good. Um, we've had some good results. Um, three of the five, we've had uh, wins. Um, a lot to have. Uh, Getafe, we had a draw. So that's not too bad. Um, and as you can see, we have a reasonable, we've got a chance in our first three games. I wouldn't say those guys are prominent. Uh, then start to get a bit more challenging with uh, Madrid, uh, the Atletico version, Sociedad, or Real San Sebastian. Um, Barca, and then, you know, we've got another period here. We could get some points, Valencia, Real Madrid. Um, so what we're going to do is simulate the season. I'm going to let the assistant manager take over. We're going to come back. Actually, we're going to come back at the end of August. So we'll see how our first three league games have gone. Um, and we'll see if there's been any action on deadline day. I Only if I sell someone, I think, is the only option. Um, all right. I will see you at the end of deadline day. Okay, so here we are, and we have just finished the transfer window. Um, it is the 1st of September. Um, let's see how the first three games are gone. So as you can see, it was a pretty dodgy start. We had a draw, a loss, and we've had a win, which is great. Um, so as you can see, we are scoring goals, which is good. We are also conceding goals, which is not so good. Um, but we've had, uh, as you can see, Garcia and Falcao um, scoring our first game against Mallorca. Yeah, against Alave, we had Suarez score, but a 4-1 loss. Um, at home is pretty disappointing. Wow. Um, and then Levante, we have had a 3-0 win. Um, Randy Nteca and Alvaro Garcia with a brace, uh, which is really cool. Um, it's a tricky month coming up. But let's head over to the transfers and see if we did any business on transfer deadline day. Um, so if we have a look at the transfer history, I have done this by date. Um, the only way I was getting someone in was to make a sale. So I have sold Issy Palajon. Um, and to be honest, he's a winger. But I just, at 26 years age... Um, we filled the spots okay in on the wings, and he is okay. He's okay. Um, he played one game for us off the bench, but for three million dollars, um, it was going to kickstart my uh, ability to get anyone. So if we head over to the ins here, you can see we've managed to bring in two players. I've managed to bring in one Iglesias on loan uh, from Getafe. Um, He's going to be a backup right back for us, or wing back. Um, and he's just, as you can see, if we switch it on, he's just got decent, decent stats in all the places we need. We just needed a backup right back, um, and that's what Iglesias is doing. Um, so that's a loan just for the season. Uh, but we did. We did sign someone on a free transfer. Um, and we signed Samir Memesevic, and he's going to be able to help us out at uh, centre-back. Um, he's got some okay stats. He is depth. Um, we just needed some extra squad players. I can't say the transfer window has been a boom. Um, as I said, we've got no cash. Let's have a look at the finances. We have a little bit of money in the transfer budget, just in case we need to sign some staff. The main thing is, though, we have fixed that problem with the wage budget. We've got a little bit to play with. Um, if there's any other free transfers or loans we can get, uh, maybe in the January. But um, as you can see, we've also been given some money. Um, not quite sure why. Uh, apart from players sold. Um, looks like we've got some TV money, which is good. Um, so that's good. We've got money in the bank. Hopefully they'll back us next year. Looks like at the moment we're getting two and a half million. Uh, yep, we're not going to be able to do much with that. Um, and one of the other things that I probably wasn't massively aware of, if we go ahead and look at our registration here, um, you can see this is a bit different to some other leagues in that 
you actually have a maximum squad salary. We're not even anywhere close to it, but um, we have a maximum of 475k a week we're allowed to spend. Um, and there was um, a graph showing the spend of every team, and that is dependent um, in the rules on the amount of revenue or profit you make. So you've got to start making money to be able to give more wages, which... To be honest, that's going to make this save even tougher. So, oh, well, um, we'll see how we go. All right, so not much has changed. Um, if we just do a quick pick again, see if there's any changes to the best 11. Did either of those two guys come in? Um, no, they did not. So we are running with the same team week on week. Um, I will simulate forward to around Christmas um, and we'll see how we're going. Um, okay, so we have moved forward here to the 19th of December. And if we have a look at the competitions... Oh, hold on. <laughs> we're, we're top? That's got to be wrong, right? Why Akano? Wow, what is happening? Okay, so we've won 14 of our 18 games, drawn one, and lost three. We have a goal difference of 30. Well, after the deadline day, we had drawn one and lost one. So in that time, we've only lost two games. Who have we lost against? Valencia, Barcelona, and Alibé was the one from before. Wow, eh? Okay, okay, I gotta compose myself here. <laughs> We're top? We're top at Christmas? Alright, this is crazy stuff. What's going on? Alright, let's have a look. Alright, so we head to the schedule, and this looks in. What is going on? So after we left this game here at Levante, um, I think. Let's, can we change this to goal scorers? Yeah, let's have a look. We've got um, Atletico Madrid, 6-0. Um, San Sebastian, 2-1. We lost to Barcelona. We beat everyone in October. Uh, we head to November and we lose to Valencia. We beat Real Madrid, Memesevic and Trejo. Um, this is exciting. It really is. This is crazy. Top? <laughs> this will not last. This will not last. You watch. We will have a horrendous second half of the year. You watch. This is crazy. Everyone will kick up a stink. It'll be, it'll be nuts. Whatever. This is pretty crazy cool. Uh, Sevilla, 1-0. Um, uh, Bilbao, 2-0. All right, this is great. I'm, I think we're going to have a look at some of the uh, um, goals in this. All right, we beat Atletico Madrid 6-0. Let's have a look at the, at the goals. All right, this is crazy. We won't look at all the goals. We'll just look at the ones where we beat the top, top teams. So, um, when when Devaya Kana. So, we've got Fran Garcia coming down the uh, wing here from his uh, wing-back position, crosses it into Falcao, gets blocked, Trejo puts it in. Very nice goal. Very nice. All right, so we're in the center of midfield here in Teca. Uh, Fran Garcia again involved, Trejo off to Guardiola, and slots it across the goalkeeper. Beautiful stuff. Wow, some nice build-up play in this team. Really cool. All right, playing it from the back. Um, Balu into Alvaro. Beautiful pass through. Oh, and a dink over the keeper. Look at that. That's lovely. All right. Um, so we get it back out. Playing from the back again. Um, a pass in. Header one from the big guy. Alvaro. Cross the keeper again. Very nice goal. This is great. These guys are playing really good. Um, down the right wing. Passes into Alvaro. Is he going to cross it across? No. Nope. Back to Balu. Crosses. 
Whoa, nice. <laughs> what a volley. Sergi Guardiola. That was brilliant. And we've got one from a set piece here. Uh, and Tekka. Oh, wow. Oh, and straight through on the goalkeeper's near side. They're great. That was awesome. Um, so that was the 6-0 victory to Atletico Madrid. Uh, we lost to Barcelona. Let's see. Is there any other teams we're going to... A 2-0 win to, against Real Madrid. We have to look at those goals. All right. So we had... Who was our best player? Mimosevic. The guy we brought in for free. Look at that. Excellent. Um, let's check out these goals. Against Real Madrid, which we won 2-0. Oh, this is great. All right. Uh, so just sharing the match report. Okay, so we're set piece and Memesevic. Oh, the keeper had his fingers to it. Courtois, he should be better than that. Oh, and a penalty into the top corner. All right, not the prettiest goals, but who cares? Vallecano beating Real Madrid. That is not a problem for me. Um, and so Real Madrid, Sabir, we're not going to look at that. That is great. We have beaten two out of the three big boys. Um, and look at these results. Well, three nil, six nil, uh, five nil, five two, five two, three one, five one, three two, three one. And we're still in the Spanish Cup. Oh, wow. This is great. All right, so let's have a look at the squad here. Um, we'll go to selection, see who's playing well. Um, so there's green, green everywhere. Pretty much everyone from our first team is uh, playing really well. Who's in on the goals? Alvaro Garcia, who is cutting in. Let's have a look. What's Okay, so he's cutting in from the right mainly. Um, as that inverted winger, and he is scoring for fun. 14 goals in 18 appearances, which is pretty good. Um, Sergi Guardiola. Okay, he's got 12 from uh, 17 starts, and he's playing striker. Okay, so that means, oh, that means our big guy, Falco, yeah, he's he's getting on in age, and he's, he's, he's not too good. All right, so we've got some players wanted. Um, that's, that's good. Some unhappy players. We've got a bid here, uh, for Bebby. All right, let's, um, let's check it out. We'll head, I reckon, next to the end of the January transfer window. See what we've done, um, and see how January's gone. I am expecting things to go poorly. <laughs> but we can say we are top at Christmas. And that is awesome. 43 points. Well, we've pretty we've got survival already, I would say. So that is job done there. And um, everyone's happy. As I said, we didn't sign any under-23 players, so they're not happy with that. But everything else is fantastic. All right. Uh, let's go forward to the end of January and pick it up there.